going on guys uh, been a while just trying to take care of some things and actually get some more pages for my webcomic done so I uh, thought I'd go back and do uh, some reviews on since uh, I don't have nothing new coming in for a little bit but I'll go back and do some reviews of some figures I did get well uh, one that's going to be on my list or figure one of my favorite figures I got this year so far and just and really in anticipation for uh, another common writer come out do some reviews on some common writers I already have so um, I got into tokusatsu stuff about three years ago I, I'm thinking can't remember but um Leaning towards more towards common writers anyway, so I prefer the Super Sentai over Power Rangers, but leaning more towards the common writers. I haven't seen every common writer show. I, at the time, it, there was people on YouTube that had some shows, but channels started disappearing. So some shows I never got to finish, but. And I'm trying to see if I find ways to finish this show too. But, um, this is Common Rider Drive. I know. Uh, I just like this design. I, the other designs here, yeah, they got a little too too goofy for me as the series went on. But this was the one I liked. So. I just like how he looked. And he has, get close up on him, he has. In the face, it has it has like a, because the common writers were supposed to be like based on insects, the old show writers, but, and I like that he has in his face, has that kind of bug motif if you look at it closely. It does have that bug motif to it? So, all in all, I, I, I was. Although I, I do like the theme song, it's probably my favorite Common Rider theme song. It's for Drive, so. But yeah, the, this guy's pretty cool. So uh, he comes with if you got this in the show, it's called Tire Cocon or Tire Chain. So I'm not gonna take it out, but if you got this. He came with the Max Flare. Is what this one is called. So. Uh, it's, it's got a lot of, like I said, uh, when you get stuff, especially Bandai, they give you your money's worth, so, like, this comes with a lot of little parts, so uh, that's why I'm not going to take it out, because I don't want to lose them, but, and also came with, uh, two sets of changeable hands, also, and, Stuff you see on them is like removable, like these little, the little things on his belt are removable. I'm trying to get one out. <laughs> uh, you see, <laughs> but they are small, so let's be careful if you get this guy because they are small and you don't want to lose them, but they do come out. I'll probably put those back on afterwards, but and this also comes out. This is shift what he uses to henshin or change. And the this is uh I'm not sure if that's a yeah it is a separate piece, but I guess it's removable if you want to take them apart, but and this just comes off to do the tire change. You just take this piece off back and just take that off. To the do the tire change. I'll show that in the photos, but just looking at this guy, this guy is so accurate. You can see on the back all the detail. This is how the the suit looked on the show. That's why Bandai, you know, they just get it, do the this good work all the time, most of the time. <laughs> well, I said yeah, all the time, but they just get all the details. Reflectors, 
Yeah, yeah. So like, kind of, if you don't know, most of Kamen Riders have like a motif. So this was a car motif. So, but I would say if you don't know anything about Kamen Riders, I would check out the old shows first. The uh, what they call the show era, because that's how the Kamen Riders were supposed to be. The newer ones are kind of a little bit flashy. If you say that, like more flashy, so. But, um. I'm getting to articulation, so his head is on a standard SA figure right joint, so you get all range of motions, and I'm not sure. I think the neck is also articulated, but I don't. Yeah, the neck is articulated also, so it's, you got a ball peg for the head and a ball peg for the neck, so you get all kinds of range of motions. Show that close up. So, uh, these things are also articulated the shoulder pads, but it does a, a little bit hinder the articulation. But you can get it's not in the way that much. It does lift up where you can get his arm up about that far, but it does get in the way a little bit. But it all has has that. Separate piece where you can pull the arm down or lift it up. It's a oh uh, yeah, it's a butterfly joint. That's what <laughs> what I meant to say. Yeah, it's a butterfly joint in the arm, so it gives you extra range of motion. You have a bicep swivel, uh, a hinged elbow, but it gives you more than ninety degrees, a little bit more than ninety degrees, but because of this uh, sculpting right here, that kind of does hinder it, but. If you move that out the way, I think you can get a little bit more with the hinge. But uh, you get the diaphragm joint, which gives you your ab crunch, all your range of motion right there, and you get the waist swivel also, which is hidden in there. So, or does this guy have a waist swivel? Yeah, get you up. Know, it's a little bit of waist. Swivel. Mine's just a little stuck in there but I'm, I'm not gonna force it so I don't break it but yeah you get a waist swivel and a diaphragm joint so that's also why these figures are so good this is a hip joint how can I say it's like a Y joint but you see you can get this kind of a you can do this much of a split it's, Get your full ready to get up, not back so much, but and you have a thigh swivel up there, also. Uh, hinge it's double jointed knee, also. And ankle articulation is it's like a hinge ball hinge, but you can get your rocker out of that and you're up down. And you get toe articulation also. And I want to say that's his feet are die cast. I'm sure it is, but I know most of some of the older uh, figure art coming writers, their feet were die cast. I thought they were, I think they were getting away from it. But uh, it doesn't feel it, but you can feel like. Just more weight in the in his bottom part of him, so that he's he's balanced. So you can stand this guy on one leg, like, and he'll be balanced. So let me see if I can do that real quick. Like, I know I've done it with other. I showed it previous with my uh, Gito that you can put these guys on one leg and they'll stay balanced by themselves. You know. You won't need a stand or nothing. Let's see if I can get them. Let's see. Take note. Hasbro. See, so he, he can do this with one leg. Balance. Stand by himself. That just doesn't make sense with the gummy. Why do you want to use gummy joints? And I'm, Let me get off of that. But all in all, this is like, like I said, one of my favorite figures I've got. So yeah, this year, I just wanted to do a... Hope, I thought this would be a little bit quicker, but this some reviews. So stay tuned for some photos. I'll 
doing some more reviews on some of the older figures I got until I get some new figures in. I should have some in soon. So just wanted to do some more reviews, get some out there. So thanks for watching. Hope you like, hit the like and subscribe. Hope you like the video and, and would hit the like and subscribe. And until next time, again, they have spoken. Peace.